G'day and welcome to the video. As you may have seen earlier this week, I posted a very short clip on uh, the ride that I did on Saturday. First ride after the restrictions have been lifted here in Victoria, so I was out in the bush along with I reckon every other person with a motorbike or a horse or wanted to go bushwalking or a four-wheel drive or anything. There was so many people out there. I wanted to show you what the camera was that I used for that little short video. Now also, as you may have seen in a post I did uh, on Saturday night, I think it was, um, I took a whole heap of video on Saturday with my normal helmet cam. A whole lot was trashed by dodgy audio. So instead of you know, loads of commentary and all the rest of it that I was gonna do, my ramblings and my thoughts on uh, uh, the lockdown and what it all meant and all the rest of it, I got this. I got hours of nothing, noise, crackling noise, but all is not lost because as you've seen from the short clip, I did capture the entire ride on my new Insta360 Go camera. just briefly to some of the stuff that I normally use and the Insta360 Go and why I think it's such a great idea. So the main part of my gear is the Sony X3000 that goes on my helmet except it's not just the one camera it's also the lapel mic which gave me so much grief, the remote control unit, spare battery and charging cable, the charging cradle, the mini tripod, the waterproof housing, the actual mount for the helmet, the chest mount harness and another bracket. One recent addition has been the GoPro Hero 5 Session. It's great because it's waterproof, it doesn't need the housing. It needs its own charging cable, it needs some sort of mounting point for it to sit in. I've got my drone and its controller and the charging cable and spare batteries for the drone. That is a lot of stuff. Now that video was captured on this little camera. It is tiny. And that's the charging case there. The unit itself lasted about four hours, how I had it running. And then you can pop it in this little case and it charges on the go and it charges in about 20 minutes. You get about two and a half charges out of that little case. The only other accessory that I needed for that ride was the one little clip. The camera just snaps inside that. This little camera, it sat there sat on my chest strap of my harness uh, the whole day. So there's plenty of tutorials on the web about how this, what the features are of this camera and how it works, uh, the different modes that it can record in. The way that I think it's really, really valuable and the way that I captured all of that footage from the day and pretty much saved the day for me. So I use what's called interval capture or interval video on it. You set the clip duration, you set the uh, the spacing of the clips and how long you want it to record for. So before I left for the ride, I set it for 15 seconds every five minutes and I set it to record for four hours in total. So it does exactly that. Every five minutes, 
It'll turn on for 15 seconds, record the video, and then turn off again. So fantastic for the end of the day, if you just want to bang up a, a really quick uh, thing onto your social media sites about what, you've, what your day's been like, you download all these clips into your phone, onto the app, hit the, the AI version of it, it will produce a, the short film for you, upload it, done. So I've done this particular one uh, manually, but you can use AI to do it. I mean, it's not going to replace all of the stuff that I showed you over there. It's not going to replace the helmet cam. You can't really do commentary. It, it captures voice. So we're listening to the audio that's been captured on this device. So it captures audio, but obviously in the, when you're going along, the wind noise, not so good. But it does do it. As a tool, I think it's fantastic. Because you set and forget. You set it at the start of the day. You charge it up at lunchtime, you put it on again for another four hours, and you've captured your whole day. The problem, obviously, with the GoPros or the Sony, you have to remember to turn it on. It's good in that you can capture exactly what you want, but you have to remember to do it. So you run the risk of recording hours and hours of footage, and you've got you know gigabytes of stuff that you've got to wade through at the end of the day to try and find something good, or with this, Somewhere in the day, it will have captured something that's of use for you. So that's the little unit that I've used, the Insta360 Go. I think it's a fantastic little tool. It will certainly complement everything else that I've got. Thanks for watching. I hope you've got something out of this. So stay safe, ride well. We will see you in the next video.